out all these LEDs. I do everything in one cut. I don't edit anything because it's it's just too much trouble for me. So uh, if I start singing and dancing halfway through this video, you'll know I'm just a nut, and that's what I do. After you rip out these LEDs, a couple of the LEDs might uh, have a little solder point, have a little piece of the wire that's going in the LED still sticking in the uh, sticking out of the top of the circuit board so let me plug my iron in it's getting hot now also uh, make sure you have a sponge when you're soldering and make sure you constantly clean off the tip this is a brand new needle tip so we're gonna see how good this works out and uh, what kind of solder do I use what kind of wire do I use good question the wire I use is just from Radio Shack. Um, I think it's 24 gauge, I, but don't quote me on that. Um, I don't think it's 18 gauge. I think the 18 gauge is too thick. And I use three colors, uh, red for positive, green for negative, and, uh, or black for negative and green for, for ground. <clears throat> And the first thing we're going to do is right here, if you can see, there's a couple little wires sticking out here. I'm going to heat those up with my soldering iron. And I'm just going to poke them through. Soldering iron is still heating up. Um, I'll explain something to you about these connectors. The connectors, these ones came with a, a red and green attached. The outside, anywhere here on the outside is negative. The center post right there in the middle is positive. I'm going to not use these little wires because uh, it's not that I don't trust them. It's just that I don't want them. I'm going to connect my own wires to them in a minute, so I'm just going to pull those off. 510 Addy screws right in the top. Sometimes you can just pull these, break them off. But most of the time I have to heat them up, push them down a little bit more. Heat them up from the top and push them down. And pull these wires off. Better zoom out a little bit because you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing if I lift my hand up. Now, once again, uh, I told you that this outside ring. See, there's there's two solder lumps here for each for each LED. Two solder lumps. Make sure that you don't connect these two solder lumps or you will have a short circuit. I'm going to show you how to permanently uh, keep from doing that in a minute with some JB Weld. But for now, first thing I'm going to work on is this regulator. Now the regulator, if you put it down on the table with the heat sink plate, the back is the heat sink plate facing me this is going to be voltage in, this is going to be ground, and this is going to be voltage out. So remember that, because I may or may not say it again. And on the ground, you will need two ground wires connected to that center pin. So we're going to cut our wires. You're going to need one voltage in. 
and I'm going to use black for the voltage out. The wire stripper is really the easiest way to do this. Um, it just strips your wires in a second. I usually put a little hook on my wire like that. Bend a little hook. Fold it over. Now the center pin, I will bend it up just slightly in order to keep it away from the others. I'll go this way. Anybody see that? Okay, there. The center pin is bent up. We got one wire hooked on. And I usually go the opposite way. Hook these two on. I learned to solder myself. Uh, I was never an electrician. So don't write in and tell me my technique is wrong, that I should have this or that. Uh, I've been making these for um, four or five months. They all work. Whoa. They all work and they've all been working for months. If if your if yours goes bad, just uh, you can just call me and I'll come back and uh, I'll fix it. Now you always want to heat up what you're soldering and then let the solder flow to it. There we go nice connection we'll add a little bit of solder on the bottom just to be sure there we go we've got our two negatives soldered on now actually I'm going to use the red for the voltage out voltage in is going to be black so like I said putting it like this voltage in is this one right here I like to flip this over and solder it from the bottom That's voltage in, voltage out. I want to make it red because it's going up to that atomizer connector, connector in a minute here. I mean voltage out is going to go to the atomizer connector. I'm going to draw a picture for you all to see in a minute. But right now you can just see my soldering up close. Add a little bit of solder on the top of this one just to make sure. Add a little bit of solder on the top to this one. Voltage out. So now we've got two ground connections to the regulator. We've got voltage in black wire and voltage out red wire. <clears throat> Next we're going to go with our button.